Still sounds like rain to me out there. Good evening to cold, damp Indiana, central Indiana. How we doing tonight, folks? Access is pure ice navel, and that's why I left early. Was not in the mood to stay up there during an ice storm and got home early tonight. What's going on out there? It seems to be a lot of testy people. A lot of testy people online tonight, and I, I'm I'm going to get it out of the way early, so we don't have to address this as the night goes on. But if you post something on a site with twelve thousand people, you're you're opening it up to twelve thousand different opinions, thoughts, ideas. Somebody may be looking for this. You may want a pink bike with a blue seat. And there might be one other person who wants a pink bike for blue with a blue seat, and they're gonna they're gonna jump on it. It happens. I understand that the housing market is crazy and rentals are crazy and all that, but you uh if you post it on the site, odds are there's going to be other people jump on there with you. Just get used to it. There's no reason to cuss each other. Um, then another post was made, and then one was reported, and then Facebook got involved, and now we have a black mark against our site because somebody didn't like somebody using their post. And it's it's to me to me it's petty. Just. If you post something and somebody jumps on there, so what? I get it. I get it. Believe me, you're you're looking for something. I we got people looking for stuff all day. I get chat messages all day. Someone looking for something. But on a side of twelve thousand people that's open to the public, if you choose to put it out there, then others can share that or use that. If you don't want it, hello Lisa. If you don't want it like that, then don't put it on the site. Put it on your own page. I get it. I get it that it upsets some people, piggybacking and, and all that. I get that. But the site's open to everybody. And there's 12,000 people. And no matter how much you may not like it, others are going to jump on there and do it. It is what it is. Maybe it's one of those unwritten, unwritten etiquette rules, but to me, it, it, it's it's going to happen. So... If you if you post something asking a question, people are going to jump on there. Just deal with it. What's up, Brett? Yeah, just do it. It's 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 not the end of the world. We got more important things to worry about. Now we got a black mark on our site because the one gal I don't she reported it and I don't think that was good enough. And then Facebook instantly got involved. Thank you, Crystal. And thank you, Tracy, for earlier for the stars. Appreciate that. We'll take all the stars we can get. We like, we enjoy stars. But um, that's what that leads to. Crap like that, that's exactly what that leads to. Now we got a black mark today on our site. We got a winter storm going on outside with freezing rain. And What's up, Tyler? How you doing, buddy? Hanging out with Nick's sister. That's cool. Hope you guys have a safe night up on the... Uh... North side, northwest side. Nah, I don't want to block them both. I didn't want to block either one of them. But once the report got filed, then I'm like, okay, then go about your business. I hate doing that. <laughs> My bad. I was rounding up. 
That's probably eleven thousand five hundred ninety nine right now. And and honestly, it kills me. I even have to say this stuff because I've been watching another live stream, and one thing that I notice is that, and I'm not going to say who or where, but they they've went from being some cool dudes hanging out live streaming and uh, remembering who the little people were to now they're condescending. But they're making money, and they're condescending to the people that don't pay, and I don't like that. And I, I don't, if I ever get that way, somebody bust jerk a knot in my ass and, and straighten it out right off the bat. Because I don't like that. Now, protecting the site, that's different. Um, it's used by schools, churches, businesses, and everything else, and that's why I'm so big on don't report something without coming to us first. Please, that's all we ask. We may not agree. You may not agree with our answer, but give us time to figure it out. And um, I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm looking above and beyond all you guys that make this stuff happen. Not just for sponsors, but because the sponsors are here because of you. And you're here because of the sponsors. And we're here because of both. And that's how I look at that. I don't like condescending. I don't, I don't like being treated that way. And I don't like the thought of me being that way to somebody because in my opinion we all get up put our pants on the same way some of us wear shorts but it is what it is anyway so there's some fun posts on there tonight dealing with the fair um actually the the image came from my brother today he must have uh been in that area so he snapped a picture of the taco or the donut stand and i swiped it and uh posted it so Kudos to him for doing that, but um, it's you can never go wrong with fair food, and I'm pretty sure tacos will once again lead the way. It's not that far off, honestly, folks. Not that far off, and if you've been noticing, we've been in here dealing with or announcing the concert series coming up, and uh, let's not forget, Trace Atkins is coming back to Martinsville with Lone Star, Diamond Reel, Big Country, and the very one and only Rose O'Neill. And looking forward to that night, and then shortly thereafter, the fair kicks off, and we get to eat those donuts. So, and Rose is is uh, borderline getting ready to be put on probation on the site because she's her and Christy are, are poking fun at me, and yeah, that's the, they're going to be on probation real soon. If they keep it up, so just teasing. So yeah. Let's get to the winter storm. I just poked my head outside before we went live. Looks like rain still right now. Probably some freezing rain drizzle in the area. Uh, I've heard 8 inches. I've heard 10 inches. I've heard 12 inches. And I've seen 4 inches. In Well, hello, Jamie. How are you, dear? I've heard lots of different numbers. Honestly, I'm guessing like 5 inches of snow for us by morning. By tomorrow night. I hope I'm right. Um, I just guessing. Um, I've seen a thousand different forecasts over the last 24 hours, and not one of them were the same. Uh, none of the totals were the same. None of the updates were the same. I saw an update last night. Let's 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 just say it was at eight o'clock, and the the update said uh, seven inches from for Morgan County. Less than 60 minutes later, another update came in and it said 11 inches from Morgan County from the same site. I'm like, now how in the hell does that happen? In less than an hour, you're gaining four inches of snow. So, these guys are having a tough time wrapping their head around this one and, I, and I, it's above my pay grade. But, we're going to get some. It's nasty outside. Uh, I haven't heard of reports yet. Here's how far back um, the, in the day that I am. The uh, last thing I heard, there was a wreck on I-69 up um, near Boone County. Not 69, 65, near Boone County. And that was way earlier in the afternoon. Uh, a lot has changed. I know some reports uh, have 10 inches of snow already. Valparaiso, I saw a video from Valparaiso, and it was tons of snow. Chicago's got tons of snow. Jeff Price is. Uh, he said they've got 14 inches at Lebanon. I think he's fibbing. We're going to report him. 
Kylie, I agree with that. I, I, I'm i over winter. I'm ready for summer, spring right now. I think we all are. We didn't get winter when we were supposed to get winter, and now we're getting winter halfway through winter, and nobody wants winter. Winter should be from December 20th to January 5th, and everything should be fall up to that point, and then spring kicks in January 6th. I know, I need to move south. But we are under a travel advisory right now in the county. Uh, it's basically saying there's some areas that you need to be careful where you go. I look for that to increase as the night goes on, and especially tomorrow when the heavier snow comes in. Let, let the experts do the work. Let the snow plows out there. Groundhog Day spring is near. Uh, I I hope. Let the experts do their jobs. Let them plow and salt and sand. Stay off the roads. Don't go anywhere if you don't have to. I'm pretty sure all the schools in the area are closed. A lot of businesses have shut down. Exactly. Exactly, Kylie. That is... Uh, if you don't have to go to work tomorrow, stay at home. Stay off the roads. You don't need to go to the grocery store because there's absolutely nothing on the shelves. I stopped at Kroger tonight, and um, I had to rustle some eggs away from an older lady. I, I mean, it was a tough fight, but I got them. So, is what it is. I wanted the eggs. But um, that's not true. So, she wasn't that much older than me. There's literally nothing left on the shelves. Hello, Danette. I saw Danette and Jerry going into... Um, Kroger tonight. The the shelves were empty. Morning Morgan County courthouses offices are closed. That's like travel advisors like the minimal one, Wendy. Just saying be careful. That's if you look it up, Morgan County EMA posted that and uh it gives a breakdown of the different advisories, and that's like the very least. What's up, Johnny? I would say no, Samantha, if everything in the city is closed. But I will look into that. I will ask that question. Anybody from the city is on and can answer that. Morgan County Courthouse and offices are closed. I don't know if the city is actually closed tomorrow. Good, Johnny Jones. How are you, sir? John, it's funny, on TikTok, you see a lot of these um, video games from the 80s and stuff that pop up, the Intellivisions, the Segas, and I was like, if people only knew the wars that we had over on the fart couch with two Sega Genesis systems and 15 guys, maybe more than that, maybe 20 some days, the fun that we had on those, not doing any, causing any trouble. Or anything like that. Those were our gaming days. About once a month, we'd meet up and we'd all play some video games. Usually football or basketball. And have tournaments. Real tournaments. And uh, we had a blast. Hello, Tammy. And Johnny was right there in the midst of it with, with all of us. Buck and uh, the rest of the guys. So. Good stuff. But every time I see those videos, I'm like, man, we should have made some videos back then, or, or at least took pictures or something, because we had a ball. And it always, uh, it normally ended in Smith breaking a controller, or Smith, either one of the Smiths. Jeremy, we're looking into that. I agree, John. <laughs> Jeremy, we are we are looking into the trash running tomorrow. We are not for sure. Johnny, I agree a hundred percent. Laugh, laugh until we couldn't laugh anymore. And either it was either Buck or Ass um, snapping a controller, and uh, they they brought their own because they knew once they got beat, they were going to snap their controller. Hello, Vicky. I don't know how kids even play like that now. Mac, Mac would have Halo party, parties, yeah. I can see that. That's funny. 
It's good stuff. And you know what? We didn't live and die on our video games back then. A lot of times we were outside playing or doing whatever. But um, every now and then we did, and we had fun with it. Fun times. You know what's good on a cold winter's night? Some Jesse James American Outlaw Honey. Just saying. I called earlier and Mac Dunn said they plan to pick it up both Thursday and Friday be between plowing. Thank you so much, Susan. So trash is on tomorrow. They plan it, they're planning on tomorrow and Friday. That's what was next, other than a few broken controllers. It was great. Those damn Smith <laughs> <laughs> What's up, punk? John, you're exactly right. You couldn't control either one of them. Uh, pitting them against each other, you knew something was going to get broke. Good deal, Susan. So Susan did contact Mr. Dunn. They are looking. F they are going to attempt to get the trash both Thursday and Friday in between plowing. That's a plus. Hello, Dana. Only played video games when the weather was so bad, rain or snow, you did not want to be us. Right. Well, I mean, so many of us grew up with the uh, the streetlights. You, you went outside early morning in the summer, and you came home when the streetlights came on. And that is, that. I know everybody thinks that's a joke. That is 100% true. If we weren't back in the yard when the streetlights came on, we were in trouble. <clears throat> but you usually ate at whoever's house you were at, and it normally was a bologna and cheese sandwich with a dab of ketchup or mayonnaise on it or something, and you drank from the garden hose. And by the time your hands were filthy dirty and your sandwich was dirty, but you ate every bit of it, and usually generic Fritos, and you gagged that down and you kept playing until it was time to go home. That's awesome, Dana. That is awesome. But we lived outside. We had bikes. Some of them weren't worth a damn, but we had bikes. We would ride around. We'd play basketball. We would play baseball. Uh, and, and whoever had the goal, the good basketball goal at their house is where we ended up. And once we moved out in the country, I, I was out in the woods more so often hunting and doing other crap like that. Park Hill, Hill will be busy. That is, uh, that's another fun spot we used to go to. Um, I remember when Dean got his boogie board and we waxed the bottom of that thing and you could literally launch from the top of that and the fence at the tennis court was the only thing that stopped you. I've been up there when they've had the tractor tires and I don't know if they do this anymore, but massive inflatable tires the inner tube and there'd be 15 20 people on it they've built a ramp halfway down and these things these guys would go flying down the hill on that inner tube and hit that ramp and bodies would just go flying everywhere i don't even know if they're allowed to do stuff like that anymore up there but the park hill is is the greatest sledding area in the state of indiana hands down what's up tony Yep, they pile on them and, and away they go. Now I don't even like driving up there right that way, let alone climbing that hill. That's a long walk up once you've gone down at one time. I always said they needed to put like a little pulley system up where they could pull you up. Now I've seen car doors gone. I've seen trunks go down the hill once or twice. Now I've been pulled behind a car before on a hood. That's some old school sledding there. Matter of fact, right here in town, I think through this area, if I remember as a kid, like two in the morning. <laughs> right, John? I don't even, I don't even want to think about running that hill ever or walking up it. I get tired going up two sets of steps. 
<laughs> Don't ever take your youth for granted. Because someday you're going to be an old fat guy like me sitting behind a microphone going, where did the time go? And what, what happened? Enjoy your youth while you can. Enjoy every second of it. Father Time is undefeated. Hello, Tanya. Father Time is undefeated and he will get you. And those muscles and those joints that you didn't even think about. They stop working or they don't want to work. When you get up and instead of having Rice Krispies, Snap Crackle Pop for breakfast, that's how you sound when you get out of bed. Pick up Kitten. I have been under the weather. I did, uh, we got an... Do we still have those sleds in here? Are they still in the studios, Corey, or did we get rid of those? Water tower here. I never thought of that. Yeah. But that's on the street. You, you'll end up down there on Morgan Street. Excuse me. I have been under the weather. I have um, had my bout with COVID and survived and got through it. We used to car hood and pulled friends down Mahalesville Road back in the 80s. Just a little beer. <laughs> I was talking about this today at work, Stacy Chili's. <laughs> right, Stacy, exactly. It's good. I was talking about this today. I remember I was driving at 14. And I know a lot of us out there were. And uh about 15, my dad and I, I'm not driving everywhere, but out in Sherman and Grassy Fork. But I remember my dad telling me, you get caught, you lose the car, you, you, you're you done, you don't get it back. But you can't do that stuff nowadays. You can't even, you can't even attempt to do that stuff. There's Billy Owens in his beard. Dude, that beard is just nasty. I think that's ground zero for COVID, that beard is. I think that's, that's got like the Wuhan... It's that's where it started, but you can't you can't do this stuff. And I know he did. He used to run. Hell, he wasn't ten years old. And he used to drive the car down to IGA and get smokes <laughs> smokes for or chew for his dad. You can't do that stuff anymore. And you could go you could go in the IGA with money and go. Hey, I'm, I'm here to get smokes and chew. And they do it. Times are different, way different. I miss those days. I used to drive that, had a 67 Chevy Impala that ran from about here to the street. I could sit, seat about 20 people in it. And I would drive that thing all over the place. No license, no plate, nothing. Nothing. Can't do that stuff anymore. We just put our boys in an old plastic cattle feeder and drag them around the pasture. The four-wheeler. There you go. That's some good stuff right there. That is some good stuff. Good days. You used to, you used to, times were different. And you could uh, create ways to have fun. And we did. A lot of it was outside. No, what's the latest weather update say? Is, is that on your beard? I'm going to have to click on the text and I'll go back to that. <laughs> I should have known. I hate you. Uh, Billy's sneaking in there on you, Corey. He, he 
He sent a update, and it looks like Barry's moving in from the west. He mentioned last night that was going to happen, if you remember correctly. Tonight and tomorrow is a chilly kind of day. I think I'm going to come on early tomorrow because there's no way I'm driving to work in it if we get the snow, they're saying. There should be a little thing down there, Billy, that says give you the option this porch time to interact as porch time or yourself. Ice on our driveway and steps. Thanks, Brad or Mikey. Yeah, we're right in the edge of uh, snow, rain, snow, freezing rain line now. I think I'll go live again in the morning, do some updates, see if uh, anybody's got any reports out in the county or in the city-wise. Susan's making chicken tortilla soup. Susan, that sounds delicious. And I, you you don't live in town. You, you're up there in the Canby area, I believe. Or else they'd be like... You, 909 side door just knock I mean we need Billy to go out and do his job he's been slacking for months and he, he needs to go he is our weatherman we're going to start doing our own weather and the condensed version that you saw today it's going to be we're going to look outside and be like it might rain it might not today more weather later Just checking on the weather. They're in Savannah. You guys stay. Steve and Evelyn, that's awesome. Um, you guys stay safe down there. Just typical Indiana weather night. Rain, sleet, snow. You know the deal. Enjoy your stay down at your condo in Savannah. That's awesome. Tony, that would be awesome, but the insurance alone would be outrageous. Gonna attempt to drive to Beach Girl at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Jeremy, I, I don't I don't um condone that. Chicken tortilla soup does sound good. Hello, Heather. I'm guessing the roads are, are getting to be tough right now. The temperatures dropped down to about 32. Uh, we are on the sleet, freezing rain line, just patiently waiting for the snow to kick in. Anybody any reports on any roads, let us know. Max says I, Avon is a sheet of ice. He works at CSX, not far from me. Hello, Carolyn. It's icing in Beach Grove right now, windy. Hello, Donna. Yeah, it's in it's. I mean, for lack of better road, words, the roads are going to turn to shit as the night goes on. It's it's not going to be pretty. We may not get 22 inches or 12 inches or anything like that, but cold temperatures and rain all day, the roads are going to be nasty once that drops below freezing. My hair is just, look at that, nonstop. Need a haircut. Icing pretty good south side of any. Thank you, Colton. Yeah. Uh, your bridges and overpasses, they're going to be slick. Um, the old, I have, a, I have an all-wheel drive vehicle. It matters not. Matters not. On ice, it doesn't matter what you have. If it stops raining, the plows can get out with the treatments. Let's hope. What's up, Jack? You're asking for an awful lot between stopping rain and it freezing and starting to snow and then the, the, the plows get out. They couldn't pre-treat because of the rain. So it's going to take some time. How you doing, Jack? Well, it's a grocery store. <laughs> Everybody should be loaded up. 
Uh, I went in and got some eggs um, and a little bit of uh, lunch meat just to tide myself over for the next few days. And everything else was bare. I mean, bare. And gas, right? Hello, Susie. Tim, do you have a road update for us? Where's Rose O'Neill at? I'm, I keep waiting for her to pop on here. Hello, Joy. Rose going after my tenderloin thing. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on her. There you go. There's an update from Tim. Out <laughs> of the roads, slick. All right. At least we got one of our port sign people to give us an update. Billy would not. Wuhan beer Billy beard Billy did not. What's up, Bob? So the roads are slick. Crashes starting. Stay home. Stay safe. There you go. That I don't know, Kelly. We'll have to ask her. Picked up half a hog from a friend. That's freaking awesome. I have not, Brad. I, I'm just not a big, little bitty, thin pork fritter. It's running sideways. I, but I, I have heard that is a good one, Brad. You know who's got good tenderloins? Sergeant Pepper has a good tenderloin sandwich. Um, Brothers has a good tenderloin sandwich. Sergeant Pepper's, you order it before you go there and pick it up. It's very good. Brothers has an excellent tenderloin sandwich. American Idol Premier 227. Brad, I'll have to try it. I just never cared for the smash down pork fritters that are 19 size. It's <laughs> it's snowing right behind the house. All right, that's a good weather report from Bob. He lives about a block from me. Thank you, Bob. It is snowing over there. Well, our our area of the hood now is in the snow zone. So the Brad the Brad the Brad Roe Burger at Brain Chills is awesome. And hats off to uh, Brad Rowe for getting a little bit of sleet up on Observatory Hill. Thank you. Love the beard. You know what? I'm so close to shaving the, shaving the hair and the beard off, but I'm keeping it. I want that turkey club, but I've kept, I've just missed it. That looks awesome, Brad. Thanks, G. Stay safe down there, too, sir. Good news. I'm headed to Florida next week. Bob, you, you brighten my day um, every year when you post those uh, pictures of Bob on the beach. It's it's uh, It's good to see you out relaxing, brother. No, I started, kept the head shaved for a while, and somebody was like, you got brown hair and you're 54, let it grow. So I'm letting it grow for a while, and it's a struggle. Hunter D. What's up, Nick? Flying to Florida Saturday. You guys be safe down in Florida. That sun's brutal this time of year. You may not want to go out in it. You got the, you have the um, Copper Steels hat on? Good man, Hunter. I got to find my porch time hat. It's buried somewhere. It's cold down here. Gee, it's not cold like it is here. This is shrinkage cold, and it's going to get even worse. I think minus one Friday night. That's awesome, Hunter. Hey, everybody, Peyton Collier um, is heading to Nashville. He will be back on uh, Monday Music Hour when the sh his show is due. And he'll be out at Cedar Creek, I'm sure. But um, he's heading to Nashville to try to make it. And we with him nothing but the best. It was 38 this past weekend. Well, it was like 60 here yesterday. 
So we, we had one good day of spring. No doubt, Bob. I got to take my porch time hat out. I think it's in a box somewhere. We're getting some new ones made. I look like Rip from Yellowstone. I, I don't think I've ever been compared to Rip. But that's awesome. <laughs> Billy. Brad, thank you. But that's an awesome comparison. But I think Corey looks more like Rip. We keep telling Corey to come in here with just a leather vest on and let that beard flow. He's a big man. I need to get a cowboy hat. I got one somewhere. I got something somewhere. I guarantee it. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. If I get my cowboy hat on, then we, then we can discuss the rip. There's CB. Billy, Billy looks like Rip Van Winkle with his beard. <laughs> Tim, we didn't want to go that far on air, but yeah. Looking more like Caleb. My, oh. Yeah, that's Tim's son, is Caleb. Caleb does have a little uh, beard growing, doesn't he? Hello, Ann. Burnham, that's hilarious. I'm surprised Price didn't jump on that, what Burnham said. Uh, he, he normally would fire that off. What's up, James? Honestly, is there anything better than the tacos at the taco stand? Food-wise, I mean, it's completely unhealthy. We're not... It's not like we're going there for because our doctor told us to go to the fair and eat tacos. Tacos, but the the tacos at the Morgan County Fair are perhaps perhaps the greatest fair food ever made. And if you do it the fat kid style, and you go double the meat, and you add the nacho cheese with the shredded cheese, it is your your heart. Wants to scream at you by the time you get home. But it is so good. It's gotten just so bad that I go there and only order that style one time. And normally it's the first or second night, and then I'll get a smaller version as the week winds down. But the donuts are the fair. I'm a maple guy, and I love the maple donuts. Don't get me wrong, chocolate is awesome. But there's just something about maple as, as I've gotten older that I really, really like. But the tacos are insanely good. It's all good. I could eat out there every night at a different booth. But the tacos are to die for. I don't do the walking taco. I do the sit down fat kid version where I sit at that table and stuff as much as that I can in my in my face and polish that off and wonder why I couldn't have gotten two of them. We have five artesian wrestlers wrestling this Saturday at regionals. Your boy is one of them. Good luck to the Martinsville Matt men that are I guess that's As they wrestle the regionals on Saturday, Channel Eight said we should have freezing rain in Martinsville with a half within a half an hour. So it's kind of it's snowing and freezing rain both here now, Susan, in some different areas. It's snowing over here on the east side. Bob reported some freezing drizzle up on Observatory. Yeah, and Tim's saying it's already freezing rain here. Tim gave the weather, the traffic, or excuse me, the uh, the road report a little bit ago. Slick and crashes are starting to take place. We have freezing rain in Mooresville. My sister had told me that a little bit earlier, Kelly, but thank you. I don't think our snow totals are going to be that bad. Excuse me. I don't think our snow totals are going to be as high as they are predicting. Krista down there in Baker Township. Freezing rain south of town. 
Thank you, Krista. Last time I gave her weather report, we had a major headstorm. <laughs> ah, how I forgot. Billy gonna give a weather update for us. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that's right. I think it's gonna be everything's gonna be fun. Looks like look like the worst is behind us, and then we've got hit by the the most odd timed largest hailstorm in the history of our town. And it destroyed his uh looks like ninety five and sunny. That means we're gonna get a blizzard tonight. Thank you. I think that hailstorm destroyed your crops too. I think that's why your great pumpkin didn't show up this year. And you had Billy sized carrots. Hello, Sherry. Sunny and 80 sounds perfect right now. I'm serious. Who wants to move to northern Florida? I got a new roof out of it. Crashed my maters. I'm still waiting on my roof. Um, who wants to move to northern Florida just across the Bama line? I'm, I'm, I'm interested in um, chucking it all and in, in going down there and starting over. Just across the Bama line. Up there, near, it's a little town called Baker, Florida. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It's population zero. It's perfect. Buy a house cheap there. Set up shop. I can start porch time up there. Hello, Frida. No thanks. That's no way to think. I'll buy me a little one bedroom house. I, I can work at England Air Force Base. It'd be about 40 minutes away. Piece of cake. That's down on the, that's down in it though. What's cheap? Uh, I, I, whatever they sell for down there. I haven't really looked, but I think you can get pretty good stuff down there for a hundred grand. Nice little bitty houses. I got half the <laughs> for your report right, Billy. That's down in, in the panhandle of Florida. No, I mean, that's down in the main part of Florida. I went up near the top, just across the Bama line. It's still woods. You're only 45 minutes to an hour from the beach, England Air Force Base. You're not so much down in Gatorland, although there's gators, but not like you get down there in the glades and everything else. Ah, oh, that'd be cool, Bob. Billy, you started that. You caused the hailstorm that day. You faked it, and then it got you. I'm gonna go listen to Ryan, aka Walker, from Yellowstone while he's in Florida. That'll be cool. Just tune in. How's the weather looking? Uh, we have some freezing precipitation in the area. We have some snow. The roads are getting slick. Good night to stay at home and uh, jibber jab on porch time. We need to get those numbers up to about 100 tonight. Like and share, like and share, like and share. If we can get the numbers to 100, Billy will um, come on air and shave his beard off. And then give it to science to let them investigate just what the hell is living inside there. You might be able to find the cure for all sorts of things inside that beard. Oh, well. Don't forget some things we got coming up. We've got our, there was toothpaste in this one. It tells you that's why I brush my teeth in the shower. I know people are like, what? I brush my teeth in the shower because 
if you get toothpaste in your beard, you don't know it until you're halfway to work and you look in the mirror. But if you're in the shower, <laughs> probably on the whole damn chicken. In the shower, then you can just check it and be done with it. <laughs> don't forget, we got our second annual golf benefit coming up for the LLC sponsorship fund. More details of that inches closer, closer. We're trying to get on at Foxcliff. We've talked to a few people out there already, so we have to let that play out. I'm not supposed to talk about it. Hello, Rich. Don't forget about that. We got Star Search starting back up in March. We have Monday Music Air kicking off here real soon. I don't know if it's going to be next Monday or not. I think both participants are busy, so we'll have to see on that. But we're going to start getting busy again, and then all the concerts... The opener, May 7th, out at Cedar Creek. It's going to, uh, it's two Latino bands, and I cannot wait. That's Cinco de Mayo week. That's going to be a fun week out there. I think they're going to have tequila out there now. I'm just throwing that out there between friends. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> like, ground zero for COVID in that beard. Like, the cause. Hell, you might find Fauci inside that beard. What's up, MC? Rich out in California. May 7th. Pavo in direct contact and Son de Esquina. I'm, I'm, I'm butchering that, I'm sure. Two Latin American bands, Fiesta Night. That's going to be a fun, fun, fun show. May 7th. That's when it all kicks off at Cedar Creek. We will be there. The concert series at Cedar Creek this year is sick. Just some awesome bands. Duke Tomatoes out there. Henry Lee's out there again. Don't forget about Trace Atkins, Lone Star, Diamond Real, Big Country, and Rose O'Neill. That's for the Morgan County Pre-Fair concert. That's going to be awesome. Rob outdid himself this year. That He has some unbelievable guests, unbelievable bands. Cannot wait. Go Drake. They're beating Indiana State right now. I assume Drake is an Iowa school. I forget. I did not. Wasn't for sure. And Drake is from the great state of Iowa. But Christine is one of our Iowa connections. Hello, Debbie. Beating the trees of sycamores. They wouldn't have beat him when Bird was there. I guarantee you that. Nobody beat him when Bird was there, except Magic. Oh, I did not know that. Well, you have every right to cheer for Drake. We're still going to cheer for our Sycamores to beat them, though. Sorry. IU doesn't play again until Saturday. They play Ohio State. That will not be an easy game. Excuse me. They play Illinois. That will not be an easy game. It is at home. And Kofi Coburn is a handful. Super Bowl. We have the Bengals. Excuse me, versus the Rams of L.A. I have not followed much football. Uh, I am a college basketball, college football and college basketball guy. I do follow Joe Burrow. And I like Joe Burrow. I'm not a Cincinnati Bengals fan. But I'm a Joe Burrow fan. I think he's got enough arrogance and enough cockiness and enough has no clue how big of a, a deal this is that they have a chance to beat a very talented Rams team. The only thing, if you heard Kid Rock's song, We the People, I have Chip. I like Kid Rock. He, uh, he does uh, some good things. That is a, a good song. I don't know if Cincinnati's offensive line, the offensive line is horrible, and the pass rush that he's going to face in the Super Bowl from the Rams is going to be relentless, and uh, I don't think they're going to have enough to get it done. But if anybody has a shot, Joe does, and good luck to Bengals. 
Not that Matt Stafford doesn't deserve a Super Bowl because he played on some of the worst teams in Detroit history, but he did have some talented teams some year, especially when he had Megatron. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. I'd like to see Joe get it, but either way. Hello, Julie. There's a Kid Rock tribute uh, at Cedar Creek. That's right, Corey. It's called Kid Kentucky, and that is in September 4th. That'll be fun. I can't wait to see the Garth Brook tribute band. They said that guy is unbelievable. He's there with the Duke Tomato and Jenny DeBeau. Their kicker's insane. Just does not miss. Uh, he's the um, Adam Vinatieri of this this century, I think, or this decade. He doesn't miss big kicks. Let my employees know today that we are on an eight-hour delay tomorrow and they expand it with no e-learning if, if they're not showing up. I'm not going to eat. Ah, that's good. That's good, Larry. Uh, America Basement Solutions is on an eight-hour delay tomorrow and may expand it. So, <laughs> contact Larry. I, I would say about three tomorrow afternoon. There's going to be no e-learning. Oh, Larry's a good dude. That's awesome. Kind of is what it is at this point, isn't it, folks? We're going to get what we get. We just have to get through it. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer's probably wrestling horses to get in the barn before the snow comes. Hey, it could be worse. Just imagine if the rain that we got all morning would have been snow. Nobody been going to work between now and Monday. Y'all look me up for garden fertilizer. Howdy. All right, y'all. How long we been on? I don't even know. Fifty-four minutes. Almost got that hour time limit. <laughs> that that's your show. You could uh, the Whitakers from West Virginia would be your show. If you've not seen those guys, YouTube that and pray for that group because that is. They brought in last night. Wet, cold ponies are no good out here shoveling. I hear you, Jennifer. God bless you. If you've not seen the Whitakers of West Virginia, ooh. Uh, that's, that's a tough watch. That is a tough watch. I don't know if we got any, anybody from West Virginia on the site. Tonight, I'm sure we have some followers. That is, uh, that's some mountain people there that uh, have lost track of uh, humanity and just keep to themselves. Oh, Joni, yeah, close family. <laughs> yeah, you say that. A lot closer than a lot of us like to be. We got a few minutes here. If anybody, if you've seen Ozark, the fourth episode, fourth series, fourth episode, fourth season, and it's they do it in two halves, one half and two half. Your TikTok too went went on a trip to Walmart. Oh, I've not seen it on TikTok, CB. Uh. I'm not as big into Ozark on this show, but the ending of the first half was just as wow again. They never ceased to amaze me. 
Yeah, if you've not watched, where's the milk exactly? Everything's gone in the stores. If you've not watched seasons one, two, and three, you need to before you watch the half, first half of four. Every season ends just with something like, are you kidding me? Well, I was down with the COVID. I watched <laughs> exactly. She lost her freaking mind the last three minutes of that episode. I don't blame her. But I, I watched the first half of the last season because it comes out in two halves now. And the last three minutes of the, the, the last show for the first half, you're just like, are you kidding me again? But I've lost, I've lost the, uh, thanks Mike and Lori. Uh, honestly, to touch bases on that real quick, about 90%, I still have fatigue. Uh, I went back to work this week, Monday night when I got home from work, I slept, um, <clears throat> we had the show and then I went to bed at nine o'clock and I slept till seven o'clock the next morning. That was the most sleep I've had. In months in consecutive order and then I slept and I don't I don't normally sleep like six hours a night at the most then I'm up and it just is what it is Ruth's my favorite too but uh, then Tuesday night I slept eight plus hours so we'll see what happens tonight but still got the fatigue thing uh, some fogginess still and they say that's that stuff could go on forever and of course you've got this constant oh I got to spit that up Part two is going to be insane. And Ruth lost her gourd. I mean, just went bonkers. She was going to kill everybody. I like that little actress, though. She plays that part to a T. But she can't be long for the show now. Hello, Courtney. She can't be long for the show now because she's lost her... Is it was her cousin... And then that gal, that she has pretty much no family left. So she's like the odd man out on Star Trek now. And I just, I don't see her lasting much longer. She'll probably be the only one left at the end of the show. Corey did call it, though. Corey called the end of the show. How you doing, Courtney? Corey did call the end of the show. How he thinks it ends, and I, we're going to keep that uh, and see how this plays out. But yeah, if you've not watched Ozark, watch the first three episodes, three seasons, and then watch the first half of season four. It is uh, brutal. There are no no one. There's no one good in the movie. No no good people at all. They're all bad. That's the difference between this and other shows. You can't say, oh well, they're they're kind of good. No. They're they're all drug drug pushers, money laundering, murderers, and you're like, who's? It's like survival. Who's going to be the last ones left? Well, I will end this for the night. You guys, the roads are going to be nasty, as my brother said. They're already icing over. We have freezing rain. We have snow. We have sleet in the area. It's only going to get worse as night goes on. It's going to be a lull. And then about 2 o'clock, the snow's going to start, start, and it's going to snow. <coughs> Pam and Tommy on Hulu looks like a good one. I've not seen that, Billy. The snow's going to start up around 2 in the morning, and it's going to snow all freaking day tomorrow. <coughs> and they're saying 8 plus inches. I can't see that, but I'm not the weather guy, although I did stay at a Holiday Inn last night. Just joking. So... um. Be safe. If you don't have to go to work tomorrow, stay home. Uh, stay off the roads. Hello, Tammy. Stay off the roads. Let the experts get out there and do their plowing. And then let's get through this. I'll be back on early tomorrow. I don't. Uh, early is a relative term if I don't have to get up. But at some point in time. No, I don't, Wendy. I'm fine. Bring on the snow. What's up, Tim? Um... I'll be on early at some point in time and we can talk about snow and road situations and things like that. I'm not even going to worry about getting up and going to work. We can just kind of go from there. So, 
Till tomorrow morning, you guys be safe. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the stars. And uh, stay off them roads. Stay out of travel. Don't be doing stupid crap. Like driving around on hoods of cars and ice skating and all that stuff. Don't forget American Basement Solutions. Thank you so much. Wellspring, findhelp.org. Joe Hankins Construction, JTH Construction Studio. Wayman's, they're all fighting the COVID out there. They've been closed for a few days. Stead's Comfort Systems, Blind and Boys Lawn Care, Reps Fitness, and Just Winging It. It's your fine porch time apparel. Thank you to all my sponsors. I appreciate that. And thank you all to you guys out there. Without you guys, none of this is possible. Love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the morning.